Everyone connected to my stitch up has either been murdered or they've died in an accident. Wayne Dilfey, Travis Dilfey, Janine Bellich, and Sarah's sister still missing. We found Tina. And it's all connected to the prison. Fuck. To the church. How do we know who to trust? The only power in Christian times. Boyd, Fraser. This is a very different country to the one you're used to. You see, troublemakers, they don't do well here. Listen, I need to go to Mindanao. I'm meeting a contact who says he can get me to Haji Adib. Villagers are being driven out of this region. By a little outfit called Holman Dang. Who was throwing rocks at us last night? Well, not the terrorists. We'd be dead now. Scared locals, more likely. People who don't want this to happen to them. What happened here? Nothing good. People either fled or got killed. And the bodies? Do you want some food? Something to eat? Come. Voila, Shadito. Huh? Voila, si Linda? Voila. Sorry, Punta. Dico, Linda! 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 Okay, come on Hindi <laughs> Oh. 
Uh, everyone here knows my young son, Josh. Oh, stand up, Josh. Give him a wave. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> now, Josh once asked his dear old nan whether she preferred to be buried or cremated when she died. Quick as a whip, she replied, I don't know, why don't you surprise me? <laughs> now, life is full of surprises, isn't it? So when someone as young as Tina, as beautiful, inside and out, so. well, it's a shock. It's hard to fathom. Get it together, Rob. Your wife and children are sitting right in front of you. But I don't know why we're feeling so sad. I mean, Tina certainly isn't. She's partying with Jesus himself. <laughs> we know she is. Like everyone here, you are paid up members of a special club. Why? Because you believe. Apparently, this was the service your sister wanted. She was 35 and mauled to death by dogs. Back on the drugs. I don't believe that. The autopsy was unequivocal. It was all through a bloodstream. And you believe that unequivocally? Please, I don't want to argue. Yeah, you're right. Let's not. If that creep in there would like to meet Jesus, I will help him. Sarah. Well, someone needs to care about her. Join us at the cemetery. Ah, uh, Sarah, would you catch it? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it only takes notes. Ah, oh, right. Were you and Tina? Are you close? Uh, well, I'm a friend of her sister's. Ah. She was very kind, Tina. I was having troubles. We're having a good grief meeting here for her tomorrow. A what meeting? Good grief. It's where we turn our grief from a negative force into a healing one. Ah. As we come along, I could do with a bit of healing. Oh, well, see, technically it's only for level twos and above. But well, given your family, I'm sure you'd be very welcome. Ah, oh, OK. Is Pastor Rob going to be there? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't know. Pastor Rob wouldn't have time for a little group like ours. Right. All right, I'll see you then. Cheers. Uh, He's alive, alive. It's catchy. OK. Yeah, I'm alive. No, I've got my own chauffeur. Oh, why are funeral processions so slow? God, they're dead. They don't have to worry about having an accident. Oh, Tina would have hated this. She would have hated it. Come on! Come on! Oh, okay. Pull over. Huh? Pull over. Can you stop the car? What? Just... Sure. I want to get something for her awake. What? what are you doing? Something in a lime green. Is that, is that her favourite colour? No, it was the colour she most hated in the whole world. And she'd love it that I wore it for her. Oh, we don't have anything in a lime green. Oh. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> she would hate this. Is your change room through here? <laughs> Sarah, we're going to be late. What do you think? I think we're going to be late. Come here. Hey, hey, let me take you home. It's fine. Let me take you home. Come on, take a risk. You can look in the mirror. Listen, I think, I think you're being... Well, unstable. Unhinged. I was going to say sad. Hmm? 
I want to find someone else. I don't want you. I don't need you. Listen, Go, listen, get I'm out! Not, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, hey, hey. talking to your father you saw me standing with him thought he might have been burying the hatchet there wasn't one handy is he really that bad don't you read the polls no no there's only so many bloody minded decisions you can make before your soul chucks it in well there is no shortage of father issues in the world, is there? Mm -hmm. Mine was killed starting a pub brawl when I was a kid. Is this the same footy legend that I'm being asked to immortalise in, in bronze? Yeah. But, you know, you kick 112 goals in a season and they'll forgive you for anything. Why? Lustrous. Is this really how we want Bill Irish remembered? What, what exactly did you promise her? Yeah, maybe there's a way out of it. Well, well I just said the job's yours, 100%. I gave her my word on my wife's grave. Well, there's not much wriggle room in that, then, is there? No. It's upside down, surely. Well, you reckon that... that might be the head there? Oh, number five. Oh, I still can't work out what club this bloke played for. Five would be Bernie Quinlan, surely. Bernie oh. Quinlan? Then it's a bloody desecration. Hmm. Me. I found this. I found these at the market. I think it should be size five. How is she? Yeah, the doctor's been back. She's still in shock. She seems physically okay. Mm. Adonis is getting nowhere, trying to find any family. Truth is, Daughters aren't as valuable as sons in some parts. The Brannons, excuse me, to call. Understand enough Italian to know that that was Polish. Was it? Drink. Sure. From what I gather, asking her on the island, that was the only village that wouldn't sell to a whole man down. Fishing is a dead-end game if you're not near water. They held out. Ten generations of fishermen. So they held out and now they're gone. Mm. Yeah. Could Holman Dang be a bank for Haji Adir? He has to fund his operations somehow. Could be him. Could be Warlord. Or could be the power plant. And why the hell would any of that lot be sending 25 grand to Jack Irish in Fitzroy? Miss Elliot. Glad to see you in one piece. Bloody dangerous place you chose to go sightseeing the other day. Mm, good news travels fast. Yeah, well, lucky for you it does. Uh, I'm the one who sent Fraser and the boys out looking for you. Can't tell you how thrilled they were heading into Hadji territory. So you think it was him who destroyed the village? Who else? That uh, kid who was waving a gun in your face is one of Hajis. But wasn't it a Muslim village? You're looking for reason and sense from terrorists. Look, if they're not shooting at us, they're shooting each other. And none of them think much of journos. You should get back to Manila. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm following a story about a bank. The Holman Dang Bank, you heard of it? Yeah, yeah, I've got a Christmas account with them. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't you want to go, huh? 
I can't get out of this shit all fast enough. Someone logged onto my computer at 10.30 p.m. the other night. Oh, well, rules me out. My clock off at five. It's a religion. Why are you sniffing around the Tina Longmore case? Well, nothing if not thorough. She was a druggie. She was on heroin. Yeah, she was a druggie four years ago. It's a long time between now and sitting around on a beanbag listening to Nirvana. So people go back? Yeah. You know she was a friend of the late Janine Bellage. Stop trying to make this sound more interesting than it is. Believe me, I'd like to. Oh, and Barry? Mm-hmm? Keep your ass off my chair. There's a link. This home and dang bank thing of yours, uh, it may be more complicated than I thought. They're operating here in Mindanao, but I, I have no idea what's going on. This young boy was shot in front of me and there's this gorgeous girl. Oh shit, are you all right? <laughs> Not particularly. Listen, I just need you to tell me everything you know. Uh, well, I know bugger all, really. I mean, it's connected to some happy clapping church here, I think, but I don't know how. Listen, I reckon you should get out of there. Right, go where? You've taken my name off the answering machine. Well, people kept leaving messages. Look, it's... it's sort of late. Do you reckon maybe we can talk about this tomorrow? This? <laughs> Is someone with you? What a bloody mess. Yeah. You know, fuck you, Jack. I have been sitting here wanting you, wanting to hear your voice, thinking every day about getting on a plane and coming home. And now I'm up to my neck in your home and dang shit. I mean, I've hardly cleared customs and you've moved on, so Fuck you! Was that her? Yep. Do you still feel anything? Yeah. Good. An asshole wouldn't. Never lived anywhere other than Fitzroy. No. North Fitzroy, but that wasn't right. I could never live on your side of the river. Have you been thinking about it? I reckon the less they see of you, the better. So, will you wait in the car? Yep. So, in the car? Yes, in the car. It's not hard. No. Jesus, praise be his name. Let us release Tina uh, with words that describe our loving memories of her. Jess? Kind. Courageous. Truthful. Warm-hearted. Janine Balich. She was a friend of Tina's, right? I was just thinking how, um, well, how weird it is that she died the same week as Tina. I mean, she was a member of this church too, right? Tina? Yeah. Yes. It's, it's very sad. We weren't really close with Janine, though. 
No, she was a level three and didn't really mix with anyone below that. Tina always did. I'm sorry, level three. Yeah, I've just been made a three two. Despite everything you made it, Mark. Uh, why? Uh, my wife kind of fell out with the church and she made a bit of a fuss. Uh, is your wife still? I don't have any contact. And the church helped me realise that for my own sake, I had to cut off all ties with her and my son. You're kidding me. <laughs> I'm sorry, who makes the call on these levels? Pastor Rob and the Council of Elders. Oh. Yeah, the higher up you are, the more time you spend with Rob. And that's all based on your time with the church and your good works. And money. <clears throat> Imagine money comes in. Yes, we do pay a tithe. Ten mm. percent of our salary. Mm. Now, could we return to releasing Tina? Yeah. Yeah, carry on. <clears throat> Tina, I release you from our love into his. It's just that a wife and child is a pretty big price to pay for a Please. free. Please. Jack? Mm. Sorry. Yeah, I, I release her too. Pastor Rob wants a private word with you, Mr Irish. Oh, wow. Wonder what level that makes me then. <laughs> All in less than an hour as well. He just talked himself into some sort of grief meeting. He's with Shan now. I don't know, he just asked him up there. Yes, we are monitoring it. I'm on my way. Where to, boss? Via Crucis. Fast. Ah, Jack, isn't it? Please, come around, take a seat. Can Bev get you a cup of tea? Oh, I'd love a cold one if you've got any beers. <laughs> no, we're dry, I'm afraid, but we have all sorts of teas. No, it's OK. So, what do you make of our humble abode? Well, there's, uh, there's money in them near Jesus. <laughs> Believe in him and he will share his riches. Oh. I reckon I must have read the wrong Bible. It was all original sin and the fires of hell when I was a kid. Oh, no, we don't go in for that huh? much here, no. Uh, one of our core beliefs is helping people to flourish in God's embrace. The gift of wealth we see as part of his blessings to us. Ah. So the more money, the, the better for you guys, huh? Success and wealth he reserves for those who truly believe. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> But I get the sense you have a less than charitable view of us. Oh, I'm forming an impression. Tell me, would, would you trust me enough to answer a few questions, honestly? Sure. As long as you answer a few of mine, honestly. Question for question. We find that people can't hide their true feelings from a camera. Do you do this for everyone? Uh, yes, we do. In fact, I want you to understand, Jack, that we have nothing to hide. Well, I don't mind being filmed as long as I can turn that thing around on you and film you as well. Delighted to. OK, so let's start with what do you believe in? Uh, that they hike petrol prices and that the Lions are a no-show for the grand final this year. Now, you see, that the key to this is to be Truthful. Right. What do I believe in? Uh, that wait for age, there are more decent people than assholes, but for some reason, the assholes seem to inherit the earth. So you're a cynic? Hmm. Do you believe in an afterlife? Uh, hang on, Vicar. My turn. Do you think it's odd that three people from your church all disappeared within the same week? Um, 
Sad, yes. Odd, no. I have pastoral care for over 30,000 people. I think I see too many deaths. Why does someone with a law degree work as a bag man and a debt collector? Well, I prefer the company of honest men. You seem to know a lot about me. You're avoiding the question. What are you trying to achieve? Just a little bit of peace, you know. Tell me about your uh, White Hill Prison Outreach Program. Well, we've reduced the recidivism rate by 90% by finding them gainful employment. As what? Thugs for hire. Why'd you choose me? Why was I set up? I, I... I don't know what you're talking about, but I do know that we choose ourselves. Come on, let's do this for real. What's your greatest fear, Jack? Isn't it true that you lost your wife? Would it be fair to say that uh, losing someone who's very close to you and, and being um, powerless to do anything about it, that is your greatest fear? Obviously. Yeah, I reckon losing someone you love is as bad as it gets. That would be my greatest fear, isn't it, everybody's? Well, certainly mine, yes. Right, so Tina's death would have really rattled you then. I think the death of any parishioner is... I'm not talking about any parishioner, I'm talking about your mistress. OK, let's do this at another time when you're less confrontational. Hmm? Well, better yet, why don't you come to one of my sermons? You can see what this place really brings to people's lives. Ah, Lazarus is back. Come to show me out, I see. I thought I asked you to wait in the car. I am in the car. But I'm in the car park. Oh, you wanted me to stay in the car park as well? Well, you should have made that clear. Tell me, where did you first meet Travis Dilfey? Uh, the Tesla building. Why? Right. Do you want me to come and pick you up? Yeah, that'd be good if you're, you know, not too busy or anything. She was at the church, and she followed me all the way here. Oh, bloody do it. I'm not frightened. I'll walk up there, and I'll, and I'll say straight. Now, look, you're a nice girl here, but I think you should head back to art class. Well, that might damage our friendship with Jack. The cost of war. The committee can't grant a commission of this magnitude to a Sheila who makes someone's head look like a cow pack. Yeah. Hello, three gorgeous men. They've seen my exhibition, haven't they? Yeah, I put money on it. <clears throat> so, the Tesla building, did you go inside? No, thank you. Yeah, nice. No, you told me to stay in the car. I followed Dale and this other guy. What'd the other guy look like? Well, buzz cut, older. You wouldn't mess with him. Mm. I get the feeling he's the one who urinated on me. Oh, incoming. <laughs> you should just put them out of their misery. Absolutely no way. Uh, look, it might be better if, if you broke it to her and all, because you'd be gentler with her than I would be. Round two? Hmm. I think he's going to ask you for a date. It, it 
no, no. I, I thought I might have dropped something, but... Oh, round three. <laughs> hey, uh, Jack, Jack, could we... Uh, could, 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 could we have a private word with you? Certainly will, we. Uh, it's about your father's statue. Oh, Sarah is so excited. She's uh, brimming with ideas. I mean, you've seen her work, you know what she's capable of. <clears throat> about the world. I mean, I knew it would speak to you. But it does, it does. But uh, do you think it might be a bit, you know, a bit modern? Yeah, uh, not for us, but for the older members of the club. Yeah, they're not as up on art as us. No. Well, I just think with your passion, you'll be able to talk them round. I mean, just tell them it was the same with the Sydney Opera House. She's so excited. I hate the bloody opera house. I want to give you this. You can have it. Thought you'd be on the first flight out. Well, they pay me by the word, and I think there's a few words in this one. going to be a handful. International Hadstand Code 314. That would be March 2014. MIC would be some bullshit name. Military Industries Corporation or something. That won't exist. It's the way reputable arms dealers flog their stuff to known terrorists, I suppose. Yeah, I know. But nobody's talking. You know we can't take her with us. What's her name? Fatma. Hi. Can you tell me where I am? I fly in, fly out, I never know where I am anymore. Really? It's on the towels. something to mark your horse's first outing oh that's just a little a little country meeting yeah but it's important to do it right all famous horse owners have one a trilby wow if you're not wearing one no one will take you seriously really mm-hmm look at that thank you very much come on <laughs> stick it on your head <laughs> 
Hang on. Beautiful. And the hat wouldn't make sense without the jacket. <laughs> Who are you buying me this? <laughs> Harry would be very pleased. And listen, why don't you come with us today? I think, you know, it might be nice for you to be with someone. I will be with someone. I'm having dinner with Charlie. You're having dinner with Charlie? Mm. Mm. I've worked for that German for 15 years. I've never been invited to dinner once. Oh, maybe if you've got your joints right. <laughs> Thanks for the hat and the coat. You look gorgeous. Irish. Jack Darling. Sybil. Bobby Warburton's agent. Ah, yes. I've tracked down that payment. I was wondering if we could catch up. Uh, well, I'm actually heading out for the day, but I could certainly send my uh, secretary, um, my associate, to, to come and meet you instead, if that was all right. Memory lane. All this rich history. What a legacy he leaves behind. Life is but a walking shadow. You told Jack, my, uh, my junior associate, that you found something. Ah. Your junior was right. Bobby went behind my back. He was paid off the books. I've been his agent now since I first saw him play one of the ugly sisters. And then, of course, there was a production where So, he... Sybil, you said you had a name and address? No, but he definitely received an amount of $15,000. He never mentioned it. Mm -hmm. uh, from someone called Holman Dang. Huh. And I never saw any of it. Not. One red cent. Holman, dang you, we know about them. So nothing else? There's no booking name or no contact? But if you do locate the person who booked him, I would like my 15%. Oh, I can't stay mad with him. I never could. January 3rd, a wintry, wintry summer's day. Another opening night looms. The old flattering begins. Oh, you'll love this. And I stand centre stage. Oh, Jack. Sorry about the wait. Takes longer than my second marriage these days. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, nice touch. Yeah. You look like an owner. Now, remember, we have no interest in your nag. I want distance between us. We don't know you, you don't know us. And how much did you back him for? We didn't. Not the time to show our hand. Expectation is the enemy. Well, what about prize money? 800 for the win. It cost a thousand bucks to get him here. The long game, Jack. Eyes on the prize. The McGrath Cup. That's what we're trialling him out here. Minimum chance of being seen. Harry? Cam? Jack? Live. So, what brings you boys all the way out here? Well, the hot dogs. Muscle memory kicking in. Competitive juices flowing. April 29th, 1990. Saw Branner's Henry V. Frankly, he was not up to the role. Crucified the pentameter. And it's Sorry, a do you have all his diaries? Compelling, aren't they? He left them to me, the whole set, with a view that one day we'd publish. Do you have this year's? Hmm? Didn't exactly light up the track. Pretty average field, too, I reckon. Well, wins a win. Sign of a true champion runs just as fast as he needs to. Hello. What day did you see 
Bobby Warburton playing the part of Travis Dilthey? Uh, Tuesday the 3rd, I think. So it'll be in and around that date. I might have an address. Is this where people usually come for auditions? Yeah, Cynthia. Um, sort of race 7, 1800, I'm going to get back to park. Where do we like? I know him as well. That's um, uh, uh, Warren, Warren, Warren Tissett. Uh, I met him at the Tesla building. What's he doing here? Aloha. I'm in Bali, not Hawaii, and I can't talk. I've got an airline shuttle bus coming. I'll be home tomorrow and I need my car back. How's it going? It rained. And how's married life? He is in the toilet. This is the eighth day of his 24-hour bug. The bus is coming in three minutes! Coming! Listen, I'm outside of an address and there's no name on the building, there's nothing on the gate. I just want to find out who owns it. Ask them? Not really that sort of place. Well, you need to get onto the council, find out who pays the water rates, the electricity. I'm getting on a plane. <coughs> Right, what's the address? Jack, not John, am I right? That is you. What are you doing out here? Why are you stalking me or something? Oh, uh, something, yeah. What about you? What are you doing here? Well, I just only bring keys to tenants. This is another building of ours. Ah, who are the tenants? Oh, I don't know. I'm just told to deliver the keys. None of my beeswax, really. This isn't the lot that you had trouble with, is it? Strange mob. No hellos, no how do you do's. Now, you let the gamut in my line of work. I know you're not meant to judge someone there for me, but as old Napoleon would have said... I probably said. should go, Warren. Good to see you, mate. Right, yep. Yeah. Irish. The address you're at is a factory, but I have no idea what it makes. It's very odd. There's firewalls, security, but as far as I can find out, the building is registered to some sort of church, the Way of the Cross. Oh, no, there's a familiar name. Thanks for that. Uh, you mind if we follow this truck? Boss. Well, well uh, is, is the track going to be heavy or not? I mean... We'll take that as a yes. What does the satellite say? I got us a flight back to Manila tomorrow at 11 a.m. What about that, man? Adonis couldn't find any of her family here. But there's this orphanage. It's, it's pretty basic. No, no, I'm not leaving her. Here, yeah, no way. Not in this place. I thought so. I got her a ticket, too. It's borderline kidnapping, but, but we'll worry about it later. You better get packed. My name's Linda Hillier. Whoever owns this phone recently tried to kill me. I'm an Australian journalist and I would like to interview Haji Adib. 
You can call me on this number. What about Here Comes the Man, Road 3, Mooney Valley? This little excursion wouldn't have anything to do with the urinator. I suppose let the go is out of the question. Yeah, genetic impossibility, I'm afraid. So, 500 on race four, number six. Uh, what was that filly you liked at Warwick Farm Camp? Honduran Cigar. Where the dickens are we? How are you going to fix me up for petrol? Hi, I'm a bit early. I wanted to see if you had a piece of wood. That... Oh. oh, sorry, I didn't realize you had clients here. They're not clients. Oh, they're, they're from the bank, aren't they, Charlie? I haven't had time to repair the Himmel and Elder. Oh, well, that's all right. I don't mind. I wanted to make a sculpture for Jack in memory of his car. Mm. So I need to make a stand for it. What's his favourite timber to work with? Should be chipboard. Well, what's your favourite timber? King Billy Pine. Very rare. It wasn't before he started working with it. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Come, I'll find you a piece that survived. Are you wanting to sell? Not that much. in the back of this truck. Well, we've come this far. We'll stop here. Look. Should we just back up and go home? Probably.
You gotta take me back straight away. What? Did you ever meet um, Jack's wife? Once. She came in to buy a table. Good eye for detail, like yours. He must have been a complete mess when she died. He's not a mess now. I've been trying to call you. Will you give me a buzz when you get this? And don't go home, OK? I've never had apple with potato before. Himmel and Erde, heaven and earth. Hmm, and that really works. Opposites often do. Heaven and earth, fire, water, beauty, income, poop. Okay, so, walk on. Because there's such love in the air tonight, I can feel it. You can feel it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, then there are those people that keep running into the same old brick walls again and again and again. That's why I want the spotlight to hit me here. As for those brick wall idiots, don't worry, I won't say idiots. I have some bad news for you. His day of reckoning is coming. <laughs> Good night. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Romans 13, 8. Um, yep, yeah. and I'd, I'd just, just throw it up there. Oh, come on, pick up. Hey, it's me again. Just call me, will you? Sorry for those people that could never feel the joy that fills our hearts tonight. Because there is such love in the air tonight. I can feel it. You can feel it. Can't you? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Love is the thing that connects us all. Love him. Love each other. That is his message. Romans 13, 8. Owe no one anything except to love each other. Love allows us to turn our back on a hostile world. In love, we find our only true, safe, Place.